The C says k. The C says k. Every letter makes a sound. The C says k. How are you? Let's sing our greeting song. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I'm happy you have come to play. I'm happy you have come to play. I'm happy you have come to play. What will we do today? What will we do today? Today, we will be doing the Letter of the Week series. But before we get to the letter of the week, do you know what day it is today? What day is it today? What day is it? There are seven days in a week, but what day is it? What day is it today? What day is it? If yesterday was Monday, then what day is it? Let's go to the days of the week chart to find out. Here we have them. The seven days of the week. Let's say them. The days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days make one week. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if yesterday was Monday, Monday, what day is it today? What comes after Monday? Let's take a step down. What word is this? If you said Tuesday, you are correct. This is the word Tuesday. And today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday is a happy day. Everybody happy. It's Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Now we are ready for the letter of the week. Now this is a letter of the alphabet. There are 26 letters in the alphabet and this special letter says k. This special letter says k. Let me give you another hint. This letter is the third letter of the alphabet. Do you know what it is? Let's sing the alphabet song together and find out. Let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Thank you for singing with me. All right, so we know our alphabet, all 26 letters. Good job. Now the letter of the week is the third letter of the alphabet. And over here, I have four letters of the alphabet. Do you know them? A, B, C, D. And I've also numbered them. One, two, three, four. So these are the first four letters of the alphabet. And the letter that says k, the letter of the week, is the third letter of the alphabet. Do you know what it is? Do you know what number represents third? Is it one, two, three, or four? Which number represents third? If you said three, you are correct. Three is third. So what letter is above number three? Letter C. Yes, that's right. And letter C is the letter of the week. The C says K. The C says K. The C says K. Every letter makes a sound. The C says K. The C says K. The C says K. Every letter makes a sound. The C says k. C for car, C for carrot, C for cake, C for candles, C for Christmas. And guess what? K 
Christmas I come me wa me lama. Christmas I come me wa me yama. Christmas I come me wa me yama. Christmas I come me wa me yama. That's right. Christmas is coming up in the month of December. That's right. And C is for Christmas. C is for Christmas, the season of good cheer. Right. So we are doing letter C. C for Christmas. C for car. Letter C is the letter of the week. Now let's take letter C down so we can have a closer look. Okay, I have it, letter C. Now remember, there are always two ways of forming our letters, uppercase and lowercase. Now when we look on the letter C, uppercase and lowercase, what is the difference? Do they look the same? They are the same shape, curve, right? Letter C is a curve. They are the same shape. But look closer. Are they the same size? I don't think so. One is big and the other is small. That's right. The uppercase C is the big one and the lowercase C is the small one. Right. The letter of the week is letter C. The C says that's right. So we are going to be forming our letter C. Do you see any straight lines? No. Any slant lines? No. What about curved line? Yes, letter C is a curved line. And we are going to form it with our fingers. All right. So for letter C, whether it's the uppercase or the lowercase, it's a curve. Curve, that's right. Letter C is a curve. Let's form our letter C. Let's do the uppercase C. Now, I have uppercase C and lowercase C. Remember, uppercase C is the big one and lowercase C is the small one. That's right. Now, to begin, we curve over to the left, right? So we curve over, around, and stop. Big letter C, uppercase. Let's do the small one. Curve over, around, and stop. That's right. So letter C says K. Big C, letter C says K. Uppercase C, lowercase C says K. That's right. The letter of the week is letter C. Letter C says K. K. Letter C says K. All right. Now, what do you notice about my letter C's? They have no color. That's right. My letter C's have no color. And I will be giving them some color. Do you want to help me? Now, what do we use to put color to a picture? Crayons, that's right, c -c -c crayons, C for crayons. Now I'm going to choose two colors and I'm going to color my letter C. I will begin with the uppercase C. Now, what color should I use? There are so many colors. I think I am going to use, what color is this? Do you know? Orange, I'm going to use a color orange to color my uppercase C. Let's go. All right. So to color my uppercase C, when we're coloring, we have to stay inside the shape, right? And we have to color inside the curved shape. And I'm going to color until no white spaces are left inside the C shape. Okay? So, watch me color. So, I'm coloring my uppercase C. And then coloring in the direction, curving over to the left. Watch me go. The C says K. The C says K. 
Every letter makes a sound. The C says, K. I'm almost done. I'm getting tired. It's a big one. So I'm going around. The C says K. The C says K. Every letter makes a sound. The C says K. I'm almost finished. Let's go. Let's put some power to it. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. So I'm coloring my uppercase C. Did I do a good job? Thank you. All right. So my uppercase C is in orange. That's right. And the uppercase C is the big one. That took a while because it was big. Okay, now let's go to lowercase c. Curve over. Small, right? Right. The lowercase c is small. So we do a curve over to the left, a small one. Now, what color crayon should I use for the lowercase c? Let me see what else I have. Oh, I love this color. Do you know what color this is? It's purple, that's right. I love the color purple. So I'm going to put my lowercase c in purple. If you have paper and crayons, get them out and form your uppercase and lowercase c. Do them very, very neat with your crayons. Color them in and you have your uppercase and lowercase c. Now, do you want to help me color the lowercase c? All right, let's go. I'm ready. So remember, I'm coloring inside the shape. And the letter C is a curved shape, right? So let's begin from the top. Color and curve it over. The C says K, right? So I'm coloring my lowercase C. This one should not take me as long as that one because this one is small so I'm trying to hurry <gasps> let you see all right so I'm curving around I'm going around and around and then I stop right so I do not go all the way around because that would be a letter O right mm hmm so for letter C we curve over around and stop and we leave an open mouth so if you notice, for the lowercase c, the small one, it has a small open mouth. But for the uppercase c, the big one, it has a big open mouth. Yes. So the letter of the week is letter c. And the c says k. The c says k. We had fun today with letter c, the letter of the week. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. See you next time. Bye.